everyone, it's me, Katie Beth again. And while well, I'm still on my Baby Yoda kick, the child from The Mandalorian, today we're going to be unboxing and reviewing this Design a Planter kit I got from Michael's Craft Store. It was $9.99 at Michael's, but I did use a coupon, so after tax and my coupon, it only ended up being about $7.51, I believe. So here we go. Sorry, the light keeps reflecting. Kind of gives them a cute little spotlight. Here's the side and the back. It looks like it's going to have a little succulent. I think it's going to be fake so I won't have to worry about watering or it dying like my baby Yoda Chia Pet did. But it looks like I'm going to get to color and actually decorate this one. And it has these markers to do it. I'm a little worried that the markers like the acrylic markers I tried in my past Halloween video will be hard to get into these little crevices. Ugh. All right, let's open this guy up. Uh, let's go to the kitchen to get a better view of unboxing this. Woo! So this is what we ended up with. Super cute little Yoda planter. Sorry, it's kind of hard to see the detail on this. He's just reflecting like every light. Let's see if I can shadow him. So he does have some really cool detail. It's kind of the thin, cheap plastic like kids' piggy banks are made out of. Maybe a little thinner feeling. Oh. And it does kind of have a bottom like a kid's plastic piggy bank. So it is hollow. So let's look at the rest of this stuff. We have the succulent that is great because I won't kill it. But it also does look a little on the fake side of a succulent, but maybe it'll look cooler once it's inside. And it comes with these four markers. There didn't seem to be any instructions in the box. Just what's on the outside. But really, I don't really read instructions anyhow, so it wouldn't have mattered too much. And then I have these stickers to put on here also, or to go with them on the side. Yeah, it doesn't look like the stickers actually go on him. I think it's just a bonus. What I am noticing right away is that it only has these four colors and doesn't come with a black or a white, so his eyes won't be quite as cute as that if I use only what's in here. So I think in the first process of this, I will try to color him using only the markers it gives me. And if I don't like it after that, then I'll go ahead and use some of my own paints. But at first, I'm just gonna go ahead and See what it looks like with the markers that they give you with this kit. So this is what we ended up with. 
just using the paint markers included. So just using the supplies included in the kit. If you just buy the kit and open it up and use it, this is what you'll end up with. Still kind of almost cute, kind of almost not. But in comparison, this is what he's supposed to look like. But again, they didn't give any black markers or gray markers other than this grayish green. So that no one gets mad at me for using more than what's in the kit, this is what you get when you just use the kit. But I don't really want to just display this guy, so I'm going to go ahead and mix in some paints that I have and see if I can make him look a little more like this guy or this guy, just a little cuter. So this is what he ended up looking like after I painted his eyes. I also used a little darker green as some shadowing on this frog. And I ended up coloring his skin darker by just more layers of the green marker. I feel like the muted green marker also faded a lot on the rocks, but it kind of looks pretty cool. I also made my own gray out of black and white to make a silver for his baby Yoda case. So I did, and I do actually like him more now that I painted him more. Okay, so I'll show you a little before and after. I'd say he was worth the $7.50 that I paid for him with the coupon. Uh, it would have been nicer if they included the black paint to make his eyes black instead of just a weird green. And in case anyone was wondering, at about five weeks, the Chia on the Chia Pet did end up dying. It was right after we actually had a cold day. So I don't know if the cold just killed all the Chia or if it was just time. But here are my two the child baby yoda planters i hadn't quite decided what i wanted to do with the old baby yoda chia pet but i think i kind of want to just plant him again he does look really cute when the chia is full and green and bright well thanks for watching my unboxing and review of this cute little the child baby yoda planter if you're already subscribed, thank you so, so much. And if not, it would be really appreciated if you just hit that subscribe button down at the bottom. Again, thanks for being here with me today, everyone. And have a great rest of your day.